My Google Pixel XL recently updated from Android Pie to Android 10, which still running a beta, and also having issues like battery timing got reduced, battery draining little fast from Android 9, and recent apps sometime not properly close. Well, Google will be sending the updates, but I can wait for the final version of Android 10. And now I want to go back to Android 9. So follow my easy steps. If you also want to have Android 9 back on your Google Pixel XL, in case if your device also updated to Android 10. Check the battery should be charged around 70 to 80%. A computer and data cable will require for flashing. Go to settings, then to accounts, then sync your Google account first. So it should be up to date. And then remove all the Google accounts to avoid getting Google ID verification later. Hopefully, you must know your Google account password. Go to settings, then go to about phone and scroll down. Then tap the build number for seven times to turn on the developer options. Now go back to settings, then tap on system, then tap on advanced, then tap on developer options and check it must be turned on then enable the oem unlocking by tapping on it then tap on enable this step of process must be done for unlocking the bootloader without this step the flashing will get an error and will not start now connect the cable with device and check the other side of cable must be connected with computer. Move or must make a backup of your data because this flashing procedure will format the device. So you must make a backup of your data. All the links are given in my video description for downloading the required files for the procedure. First, download the Google USB driver for Windows. Click here, then put a check sign on I have read and agree with terms. Then click download the Google USB driver and download will start. Make a new folder and save all the files there. Now go to factory images site. Scroll down and click acknowledge. Other page will get open. Then scroll down and here click on SDK platform tools. On next page scroll down and click on download SDK platform tools for Windows. Then put a check sign on I have a read and agree. Then click on download and write SDK platform tools for Windows and download will start. Now go back to previous stock image page. Read the instruction if you want. Otherwise scroll down and look for the pixel XL stock images section. Scroll down and look for the last release of Android 9. Click the link and downloading will get start. Now wait for to complete the downloading. After downloading, now go to the downloaded folder and unzip all three files that are the latest USB driver file, the platform tools for the Windows file and the stock image file now go to usb driver page and check how to install usb driver by clicking here next page will show all the instruction regarding installing usb driver on windows 10 windows 8.1 and 
Windows 7. Read the instruction carefully and follow it accordingly. I will follow the Windows 7 instruction because I am using Windows 7 64 bit. First, connect the cable with device which must be power on and check the other side of cable must be connected with computer. Windows will start installing driver but soon will show no driver found. Right click on my computer icon then left click on manage then left click on device manager and look for the other devices within next window you will see pixel xl right click on it then left click on update driver software and left click on browse my computer in next window and left click on browse and locate the downloaded folder and look for the latest usb driver file which was unzipped before and select the usb driver folder and left click on ok and left click on next and left click on install and driver will start installing here we go finally the usb driver is installed properly close the manage window and disconnect the cable from device now go to the downloaded folder then open the stock rom folder and copy all the files from there and come back to main folder and paste all the files in platform tools for windows folder boot the device into fast boot mode for that device must be power off then hold the device in hands then press and hold the volume down key first then press and hold the power key until the fast boot screen appear then release both keys you will see device boot loader is locked and we need to unlock the boot loader first to connect the cable with device and check the other side of cable must be connected with computer as soon device get connected with computer windows will start installing driver when done then go to downloaded folder and must stay in platform tools folder drag the mouse arrow to the empty side of folder then press and hold shift key on keyboard then right click then release shift key small window will get open go to open command window here then left click on it and command window will appear on the screen now type command fast boot devices and press enter key on keyboard will show some numbers and fast boot it's mean that device is connected to properly now type fast boot flashing unlock and press enter key device will prompt you about unlock boot loader with warning so press the volume up key once to select yes then press power key once to confirm and device will reboot into fast boot mode and this time you will see device is unlocked means boot loader got unlocked now now type the file name that is flash all just the way it is in command window and press enter key so flashing will get start which will take few minutes to get finish to avoid interruption during flashing do not click anything do not open anything on windows do not plug any usb drive or something else related with usb port wait now device will reboot automatically when flashing get complete press any key to exit the command window the device will start booting into stock and write 9 disconnect the cable from device complete the setup screen 
and finally we have the android 9 back on the google pixel xl now power of the device boot the device back into fast boot mode still the boot loader is unlock which need to be relock connect the cable again with device now go to the downloaded folder then to the platform tools for windows folder and stay there and open command window here in same way just like we did it before now type fast boot devices if numbers appear on screen then we are good to go now type fast boot flashing lock and press the enter key device so will prompt lock boot loader this time so press the volume up key once to select yes then press power key once for confirming it and device will get reboot back into fast boot mode disconnect the cable from device and this time device will show device is locked screen must show start then press power key once and device will reboot and will start booting back into stock android 9 device will get reset every time when unlocking or relocking the boot loader complete the setup screen once again now now we have the android 9 back on the google pixel xl and the final step which is need to be done is if you have a sim card in your mobile device and you can turn on the mobile data in case if you don't have then you can connect the wi-fi if you are in the wi-fi zone i will connect my wi-fi first wi-fi connected okay go back to settings scroll down go to about phone and scroll down then tap the build number for seven times to turn on the developer option go back go to system then tap on advanced then tap on developer option and you can see that OEM unlocking is not prominent which will not be operated to if we tap see so simply just turn off the developer option by tapping on it and then turn it on by tapping on it ok and here the OEM unlocking option is now prominent and also can be operated the final step done finally we having the android 9 back on the google pixel xl i will use this uh, rom and i will wait for the android 10 the final version when released then i will download the rom and will flash the rom same way just like i did android 9 on my google pixel xl if you think that this video helped you then give me a thumbs up and uh, thank you for watching my video we'll see you in my next video till then goodbye